think his face is done. That's better. <coughs> right, <coughs> I'm going to go into the red to highlight his leotard. Um, and have so he's there I'm going to just go onto there you're not going to see much of that but it's always nice having something just to stop it looking less flat I think I said that earlier as well Okay, I'm going to bring this up and just move, just put some lines in there. It's not incredibly noticeable from here, but it does add a little more something to the look rather than it just being uh, just one straight stroke a few little light um, like passage with the point of the brush I'm making this just that little bit more lighter or a little bit lighter rather um, with the next highlight but as I said I just want to add a little bit of a little bit more depth to it <clears throat> just by adding a bit more there we go. a bit more light as it were so that's that bit done. Let's add some more screaming skull into our Commodore Skype. We have to add some. It will be okay for this. I just need to keep topping up with paint. A um, bit more screaming skull. Um, if I need to, I can always go and add some more um, <clears throat> add some more Commodore Sky into the mix to darken it a little bit more. I'm just doing some light touches across the knuckles here. The head, so for the nose, down here on the eyebrow, and again, that eyebrow. There we go, and now Now this is a tip that I've recently picked up as well. Um, if you get another brush, um, okay, get it slightly damp. And once you've put a wash on, go over it around the edges. I don't know how this is going to work, but I've never tried this before, so bear with me. I am again, I'm learning as I go as well. In fact, as an artist, as a painter, you never stop learning. There's always new things coming out, new tips, new tricks. I 
whether you think you don't need to learn anymore, that's when you need to. You never ever get an expert at something. There's always something more to learn. And if you forget that, then you could be setting yourself up for a bit of trouble in life. Even science understands that because it's the first admittance it can it will give is I don't know. And that's what it strives to understand. And that's the whole basis of science. It doesn't know something, so it tries to work it out. I'll just keep adding, adding, adding. I do think this is a touch too great for what I want, but... A little bit of um, colour glass sky to the palette with a touch of the um, screaming skull into it. It was an intermediary shade. Because some of these highlights are looking quite um, That's what I'm looking for. They're not looking quite right. Uh, look a bit too stark, so I'm just adding something like a mid midpoint between the two, the light and the dark areas. Just so. Um, I can make it look as though it's, it's blended more. And it takes the um, well, the weird lines off it. But I'm not looking for like a cartoony effect or a graphic effect where the um, all the different levels of highlights are easily identifiable, easily identifiable by the line. Um,
smell of the um, what should we call it? Screening skull in with the blue. Mm. I don't think we need any more kind of highlight now. That brush is getting washed, we're going with the small brush and we're just doing some incredibly extreme highlights. Um, just not going to be lines and down here and um, yeah, I'm not forgetting the forehead again I'm going with the premise that the face is the brightest part of a mini Trying to bring that theory to life. Of course, I've caught a few worries that I didn't want to catch. Um, but while I'm doing that, I'm also going to be adding a few little. Lines like that to other areas of the mini just to bring out I don't want heavy I don't want heavy lines I just want to hear little gentle lines just like so um, haven't I've just noticed um, I haven't done any highlights on that leg at all so I'm going to go back into that in a moment with that medium colour dry this brush and so we just need to add a little bit Give something to stop it looking flat. And we're looking at the so we don't want a great deal, we just want it to look as though there is some light getting through. If we do some long thin strokes with the brush that will give it that effect and we can actually go into the screaming skull a little bit more and touch more to this oops and a few more lines down in certain areas and that will do Nothing more now needs to be done with this except for one thing and that is to give it all another white wash 
I'm just wondering whether I still have. Um, I have got it. It's here. Gulam Glow Glaze. I'm going to use that instead. But first, there is another step that I want to do. Pallid Witch Flesh. And for this part, I'm going to move some things out of the way. Put CD palette down. And get some of this Pallid Witch Flesh. On the CD. And we get a dry brush. And so the first bit of dry brushing I've actually done on any of these models. And I think that this is not going to be a good paint to use because it's not it doesn't seem too great. But let's try it. And we're just gonna It's not a dry brush, but I just want to lighten it, lighten these crystal forms somewhat. And then when we come round to put the glue and blue on, it will hopefully stick to that and make it look absolutely incredible. So it's not a proper dry brush. Over there on his head as well. There's a few little growths there on his chin. Next step is um, I'm going to add another highlight to the um, what is it called? Later, flash gets yellow. Just a spot of this. Into the red that we already have. And I know it's heading now very much into the orange side, but I will. Make it stand out a lot more. And so these lines now will make a big difference now you can actually see a few heavier ones so it's just a case of adding a few of those then coming across here And then that should do the job. There we go. Now there's a couple more things that need doing, but I can't do that until the green and blue has been put on. In fact, I can. I can indeed. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some of this red, some of this blue, and 
that will do nicely. And this is going to be Chris Tusks. I didn't know what colour I was going to get when I did these, but it's a very nice browny colour, which surprised me. I was expecting more of a purpley colour. There we are, that's that. And next, we're going to go into this orange colour, ready orange colour. And if we can, add our red eye. There we go, we have. I'm not messing about trying to get pupils and stuff done. That will do fine. Now we're going to go into our Gulliman and Blue. There it is. <laughs> and I'm going to wash, I'm going to put this over these crystal formations here and once that has dried we'll see how it works I may even do a proper dry brush in white over the top but okay, that's one of those Ooh, as I said time will tell Don't look white. Oh, well, I'll find out when I come to take it off the note that it's on. But yeah, now I'm waiting for that to dry. Um, I'm just going to get the go back into that brownie colour and go over the toenails with that. In no circumstances <laughs> am I going to be um, doing anything more on these toenails than this. Oh, on the nails at all. Where's that piece of tissue? I want to get this girl and flesh off this nail here. That's better. No, it's not. I'm going to have to wait till it dries, but that's what I'm doing. Um, I'll go over the toenails with that. If it's a bad coverage, I don't care. I can't, I can't see um, a troll of his stature. Um, go and get in the manicure when he breaks a nail. Can you? No. So, 
that is what we've got to have. So next time you see this, it will be on its um, will be on its clear perspex or acrylic uh, base, um, all finished, and with his teammates ready to play, ready to pound some face into the ring. I don't know. I can't remember. So that's it for this video and this little series. I hope you've enjoyed it. There will be more to come as I get more minis for Rumble Slam. But let's have a look at this team once more. We have the two goblins. I'll turn them off here. We have the two orcs. And we have the big troll. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, as always, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye for now.